What's going on, guys? Jamie Macon and the husband. Um, and we bring you laughter, a little decor, a little more. Um, today we are doing a door around in some non-traditional spring colors, um, which is actually part of a challenge. It's this Craft Your Stash Challenge. Yep, it's hosted by Simple Yet Chic. Uh, you can check for their channel and playlist links below. As you watch and like what you see, please consider subscribing and giving us a thumbs up. Here we go. All right, so since we're trying something entirely new, standing in the back and taping off and paint pouring, uh, we're just gonna dive into it and figure out how it works. Yeah. Um, you said we wanted to cover up this part of this, the- I was thinking light. the top, especially for letters, it's kind of less busy. Yeah. So I think we'll paint pour over the bottom here and then uh, chalk top. So yep. I think that's a wise some... decision. Okay, now get it nice and straight and even. Not sure. crooked. Mm -hmm. No bubbles. Mm -hmm. Got all that? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> he didn't even make it all the way across without getting a bubble. It's tape. It's fine. Okay, make sure it's rubbed down real good on the edge there. That way we don't lose any paint underneath it. Yeah. We gotta go down that sides too so that it doesn't yep. bleed all over the sides. And for safety's sake, I would like to tape the entire top half. I was gonna make a dam, but yeah, we can. Okay. <laughs> I don't understand how to make a dam, so if you wanna do that, you can pour it. Hold that tape. Holding. So my thought was, stick that part of the tape down. Um. It's kind of long, it might not work. Because on the edges there, it kind of keeps it from... But if we do the same thing on the back... There you go, that's a good idea. It should yep. do it. Kind of bend it into itself. Whoa, you guys saw it here first. If you need a paint dam, that's how you do it. Damn paint. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a good ball. <laughs> All right. So, I remember the name of this. Gray Fox. Mm -hmm. I have no idea if that's right, but it sounds right. I think it is. So, we're just going to take this. And we mixed a little more to do a base coat. So we're going to take this and just kind of spread across. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what we don't have? Our spatula. The awesomeness of the spatula. Thank you. You can even do the spatula in. Oh, spatula in. Yep. Okay, now we're going to torch it to try and get some of these there bubbles out. Just don't burn the paper or the tape. Yeah. Oh yeah. Please don't. <laughs> okay. So, what are you thinking? Do you want to do wavy? Want to do just a straight line and kind of blow it down? What do you think? I think we're just gonna do zigzaggy. Okay. I was gonna say we could do straight lines this way because oh. we're gonna blow it, and then we can blow well, it crossed. We can blow it zigzaggy. Do your straight lines, babe. Let's see them. I'm going to put the orange, because I don't want a lot of it. I'm going to put it in the middle and then on the very, very edges. Just a little bit to make a pop of color. Apron on, ready to go.
<laughs> Paint pour came out pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I like the uh, the orange. Kind of got some orange pops in it. Makes it bright, stand out. Yeah, I like the greens. Looks very naturey. Mm -hmm. Very cool. So now we're gonna do some campering. Yeah. Actually, I think we're gonna do some adventuring first, right? Yes. So this one was gonna be harder to put down first, or put down because of the circle. So we're gonna do that one first. Hard to keep your, if we do the circle separately, it's hard to keep them on the same curvature. Yeah. Keep the circle a circle. Paste. A little paste. Gonna do all white so it kind of pops off of the board. Yeah. Yep. All white. Okie dokies. Artichokies. Hey, I think I did it. I'm not even doing the paste and I got it all over me. Uh -huh. Okay, give it a quick hot stick and then we'll put the camper on? Yep. Kip time. Okay, so don't center on the camper unless you're taking that hitch off of there. Yeah, I'm going to. Take the hitch off, because the hitch sticks yeah. out a little bit on the end, so it's not actually centered with the camper. So it's kind of hard to line up. It's also a little difficult, because this end is lower than that end. <laughs> and you're trying to fit it into a nice round spot. Yeah. That ought to do. Pretty close? Sure. Sure. Do you want to washi tape that, or are you just going to use yeah. skeel? Mm, I think I'll tape it. Maybe. No, no, no. Okay, now. <laughs> You're an ass. <laughs> yeah, Kipper. Kippers. Okay, we'll have to stick it real quick. Okay. Time to make it pretty er. -er. Accessories. Yes. Every young girl knows that you need a bow. <laughs> <laughs> that one's cool. It's got three different layers in it. Yeah. Or three, three, different, three different ribbons. Ribbons. And they're all kind of the natural colored sort of thing. And then I got this. I don't even know what it's called. It kind of looks like seaweed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's supposed to be. You're going but that's camping what it looks by like. the seashore, so you got a little seaweed on a camper. But the neat thing is, is there's actually two different colors of it on the same branch. So I got one yellowish piece and one greenish piece to go on each side. So we just got just to do a little hot gluing. I'm good at hot gluing. You know what? Let's do the hanger on the back first so that we can smush that and not this. Oh, that would be a good idea. Good idea, huh? All right, hangers on the back. Pop on the bow. Little baby bow. Well, I'm just putting the bow where it's gonna go so I know where to put the green. Ah, Cause... smart. Be easier to glue that down later, huh? Right. Okay, get the old ribbon on there. Yeah. How can we call them? Oh, you're gonna push that hole back down on there. Yeah. I gotcha. I figure out why you're putting hot glue all over that darn thing. Because <laughs> I want the whole thing flat. All sorts of sticky. Yeah. That back ribbon will lay flat against the board, and then these can all come up and fluff and be there, be the personality. They can be the, the show. Very cool. There. All right. Well, we'll switch over and you can show the peoples. All right, guys. It turned out pretty gosh darn cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love the camper in the center. Uh, well, this is our project for the Craft Your Stash Challenge. Mm -hmm. um, By Simple Yet Chic. Yep. Yeah. Well, make sure you look for the playlist link. Put and everything down below. Yep. So go check them out. I'm sure everybody had some pretty cool projects. And if you like this one, give us a little thumbs up. And if you liked hanging out with us, consider subscribing with us. 
come and hang out more often. <laughs> Try to get it straight. <laughs> and on that note, talk to you later, guys. <laughs> and when you twist it, you never twist it right. Yeah. Stick your tongue out. It helps. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you gotta keep that weird pinky from going. Look at it. Just... Yeah. It is the bed. <laughs> there. <laughs> oh, now it's twisted again. <laughs> you can't keep them straight. You can't. I try and hold them all the time. Look at how awesome! <laughs>